Hello, my soccer universe for another collection video. We are staying like with the Denmark shirt with 1819, but this time we're looking at a jersey that was not worn at that particular World Cup. However, it's a real, real beauty. We're talking the Slovakia home jersey. This was when Slovakia finally f switched back to wearing a blue jersey at home instead of a white one, which I honestly, I really, really welcomed that change. Um, how did a Slovakia jersey made it into my collection? Well, a similar story as before. I had chances of getting Slovakia shirts uh, before, namely the one for 2016, the blue one. I saw at a local mall for a rather decent price. The problem is I didn't, that, that jersey I didn't really, really like. Although I have to say in the run up to Euro 2020 and again, we're talking here before Corona hit. I was already eyeballing, as I said before. I, at that time, I was only missing six teams to complete everything. And Slovakia was one of them. And I really, really like this jersey uh, a whole lot. I'm, I think I even put it in among the top 10 jerseys of two, released in 2018. Um, what made it so remarkable to me is honestly that, um, as we will see, most of the big nations from Nike got a rather uh, template shirts, you know, uh, accentuating the new uh, vapor knit pattern, blah, 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 kind of a ploy of Nike to show off their new technology, whereas some smaller teams and all, all enough, one of those smaller teams was, of course, also Croatia, but especially I'm thinking here Slovenia and Slovakia got very bespoke jerseys that really, really stood out. And so I remember it was, uh, I, I want to say it was Black Friday in 2019, uh, where my wife, I think she bought some shoes and then she said, do you want to add anything? And I was looking around and I saw this shirt with the Black Friday this this is this going we could get it down to around 30 and I said okay you know this was the time when Nike actually had 50% uh, off of of jerseys and then if you got another discount uh, you could get jerseys for really 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 cheap fortunately they don't do it an anymore which I really miss but in this case I pounced and then this was under the tree for Christmas in 2019 Let's look at it. The only downside was that this jersey is an L. It still fits quite, quite well. And I have to say, this is a stay stadium version. I really like the feel of this. It's a very smooth, very comfortable material to wear. I've said it, I've said it as before. And despite it being very, you know, the template is very much visible. I have to say this template for Nike actually really works, even though we can discuss why do we have uh, this little uh, a sliver going on here so um, that's maybe a kind of a weird construction but overall it works I love the color scheme I actually I mean for me the most obvious comparison is uh, this one with the France shirt that won the World Cup there and there are certain features that I really like better uh, than that particular France shirt uh, namely I really love the red swoosh it makes it not stand out as much, but most importantly, I love this leaf pattern. This is so nicely done with the zigzag pattern that gets uh, thinner and thinner. So we have it uh, totally blue here and it gets thinner and thinner the other way around. Like with the England jersey that was released for the 22 World Cup, I always wondered, wouldn't it look better if it was reversed because we are also dark here and then you have the lighter sleeves. But here I really, really don't mind it. And it it is stunning to look. I mean, it looks, this one looks even better up, uh, much better up close than it looks actually in play. It also has to be said. Um, I really love the big Slovakian coat of arms. I really could do without this uh, part here, the Federation crest, because A, I think it looks a little bit ridiculous and it adds unnecessary white to the entire jersey. If you would go like this, I think you have a darn fine jersey. Uh, uh, jersey. Also, this is kind of a modern abomination, I have to say. Uh, yeah, I don't want to say much more, but that's that. That, that is maybe the only down downside. Other than that, it's a rather plain jersey. 
all navy it is beautiful the pattern is even more striking on the back of the jersey and we have this little tape here where there's another slovakian coat of arms it is uh fortunately slash unfortunately it's a blank uh i have been wearing this jersey uh quite a bit so i don't mind that it uh, doesn't have a name set on there i mean hamshik would be the obvious one but you know uh, at this point he was already on a downward turn in a way Speaking of a downward turn, yes, Slovakia was hitting a little bit of skids at this point in time. Uh, the jersey was first worn in competitive games in the Nations League, where they finished bottom of the group behind Ukraine and the Czech Republic. However, beating Ukraine in the last game 4-1, which I think is a very, a very curious result, meaning they were then level on goal difference after having lost uh, three total games. Um, and then in Euro qualifying, it was also worn in the group stage, where Slovakia only finished third behind Croatia and Wales they made it to the playoffs though which meant that they qualified but then they had already released their new jersey which some like better I honestly I prefer this one because this uh, same colors but a camouflage pattern I didn't really do it for me I like this plain one and then the playful sleeves there is something about it so yeah that's my so far only Slovakia jersey um, I would like to maybe get a white one too at one point, but let's see uh, when that time will come. Do you have any Slovakia jerseys in your collection? Let, let me know that. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!